All right, I'm going to give you guys a quick little update on what I've been up to, and uh, if you follow my channel at all, you've noticed I've been uh, kind of quiet lately. It's been a little bit busy, and I've uh, I've moved. I've moved my shop, and that took a lot of time. It would have been great to chronicle the whole thing, but uh, frankly, uh, I've been a busy guy. <laughs> I've got, as I said in my last video, I need to get better at that, and uh, and I just want to show you that I'm uh, I'm still here and I'm back on it, back on the project. So um, this video is, has two purposes. One, I want to uh, reach out and thank a couple people right off the bat. If uh, if you haven't been watching, uh, C. Wayne Hawk, I'll put a link down below. Um, he has been. Uh, I sent him a turbine, somewhat bare bones um, and incomplete, but uh, he's a very capable guy and and has uh has nearly got it together and uh he uh he sent me a few things and i want to show you this right over here um he made me uh four stator coils i'll show better pictures of these uh at the end of the video but um they're absolutely beautiful and uh and hawk man thank you very very much these things are really awesome they uh they have nine inch um the, the holes uh, just like this uh, turbine i've been making has holes uh, at 120 degrees, nine inch on center, and uh, they're they're just perfect. And he gave me a bunch of different configurations here. Some have uh, just three wires, three phase, and he gave me ones with a beginning and end, so I can mount state, um, excuse me, uh, delta or star. And uh, you know, again, I'll show you pictures at the end, but they are they're just gorgeous. And uh, thank you very very much for that. Uh, they will definitely. I'm, I'm I, I can hardly wait to to hook those things up. And uh, they're really awesome. Um, and then, and again, uh, uh, the project is really uh, Muddy's, um, Muddy Muddy, Mudman, Scott Brown's uh, um, turbine. And he and I have discussed this design and all, so there'd be no point in making this video without giving total kudos to him. And, and uh, I've been learning a lot about these uh, dual magnet axial flux turbines. You've all, you all know who he is. You've seen his videos, and he has a great demonstration, great presentation showing on how the, how he works through his projects. And he sent had sent to me uh, three Raptor blades, which uh, which again another thing I'm very very excited about. So I get these things in the mail, and I'm just chomping at the bit to get out here and work on them. But I just I've just been so busy that um, that uh, I haven't been able to do it. But but I haven't forgotten, and uh, Scott, thank you very, very much. These things are awesome. I have always wanted uh, a set of these just to try them out, as you may, may or may not know. Um, I've been making my own blades, my own design, my own way, steel banded blades, I call them. I know, I know, PVC plastic, Mother Mary, but, you know, try to look past the PVC and see what I've got going on here, but uh, I'm not trying to upstage the Raptor blades, just <laughs> just saying, I've been making my own blades, and uh, I've never had purchased blades, and it is the first set ever. So there, there, you, there you have it, and I'm really looking forward to making a, uh, I want to make a special hub for it and everything else. I have uh, big plans for those. So, and they will be on uh, an axial flux. They're basically going to go on this thing. And what is this? Well, um, I still have got to get one together for myself. Um, not to be selfish, but I want to um, get one of these flying um, in the air anyway. And uh, <clears throat> what this is going to be is um, is for you guys. I'm gonna. I've got a bunch of them over here, so I've got one you know that I'll get together for uh, for myself. But first, um, having talked to Scott Brown, we thought it'd be fun to just kind of get one and uh, and and literally just almost give it away. Um, we're gonna sell it, but we're gonna put it on eBay for a dollar no reserve and just let someone gobble it up. So that th this is gonna take a little while. Don't don't be looking for this tomorrow because it just isn't there yet. But um, but recently, as I mentioned, I've got the shop back together again. I've got the plates, the magnet plates, um, and there's two of them here. They're just mounted on this um, mandrel, basically, for lack of a better word, and um, that is so that I could machine. This little gully here and I left a little lip and uh, you should be able to put a one inch square magnet in that and uh, or whatever style magnet you want you've got a lip near the edge you may want to make a 24 magnet 24 pole or whatever you whatever you want um, but the uh, the diameter of this is just shy of eight inches and uh, and it, it will fit 
behind here, not on this shaft. Again, I've got the, uh, the shaft right on the side, and those will be separated and uh, go um, get flipped around, and the magnets will fit on the inside, right? Um, if you watch those, those uh, videos of ours, and there's the shaft just started there. It's a one inch cold rolled steel. I've got 25 millimeter on that side, and this is one inch where it came naturally, and that will come through this way. Um, the magnet plate, this will sit against the inner race. I'm going to make another little stub to go that will get pressed on basically one, one inch uh, drone over mandrel. And these are the bearings that will have double sealed um, SKF bearings front and rear. May, may even end up being a press fit, but it's going to be quality. I'm going to, I'm going to thread the, the ends, both ends of this, so that you can uh, attach it many ways. And when I do make the hub for it, um, I am going to, uh, I'm going to make a hub that fits basically the Raptor blade. And uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that two quarter twenty uh, bolts that go through there and fifteen sixteenths apart. I think I'm going to double check that. You know, it's going to be right one way or another. And how far off, what kind of blade diameter I want, um, I'll determine. Kind of talk to Muddy about that. But I think that a lot of the other blades, aftermarket blades, you use that same those same dimensions. So I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to go ahead and do that so you guys can choose whatever blades you want, but it is going to be based on this dimension. So that's, uh, I've got some work to do. It's going to take a little while. Again, don't be looking for this tomorrow. Um, and then uh, the other part is, make sure my camera's set right here, back back here, I'm going to zoom in on this. Uh, you can see uh, this will all be welded and very strong there. There will be a, a pivot point there for the tail which uh, will be the fur a furling tail and it will spin up and, and miss these by the angle of it and how far away it will be setting in there um, so the, the, the tail will not interfere with that and, um, and then I'm going to leave some provision here for um, mounting things that you may, may or may not want. Uh, when I originally drilled these holes I was thinking I would somehow make um, a way so that I can electronically manually furl it if I just want to shut it down I can flick a switch and have either a solenoid or a, a motor and a, and a lead screw or some, something that I can just I can manually fur, furl it from through you know by wire which will come up through here for the stator and for that mechanism but you know I may be getting ahead of myself I may do nothing in fact the bare bones unit won't come with anything that will be something for you to work on um, but it will be bare bones and um, and I think it will be cool it will pivot on this pole right there I'll, I'll make a piece for that but you you, you basically see what uh, what I'm working on here and uh, I think it will be fun and cool so um, you know it won't be for everyone a lot of folks just want a fully made uh, wind turbine and uh, and some folks kind of want to do it themselves some someone like me is is who I'm basically building this for so there it is without uh, chatting away too much here that is uh, that is the wind turbine project and uh and once again thank you very much uh muddy man uh we haven't i haven't uh like i said i've been uh away for a while but i haven't forgotten about you and um and and see see wayne hawk mr hawk there i uh you, you did great work here on these staters and uh and, and and you've got your turbine so if any of you haven't um subscribed to muddy man or the hawk then you you ought to do that and look down below in the link so there you have it. Once again, uh, I'm still alive, I'm still here, and I'm getting back to it. So thank you very much, and until next time.